What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to show how to partition a line segment into three congruent segments. So what we want to do to cut this into three equal pieces is we're going to set a straight edge on point A, and we're going to draw a line so that this line segment here goes past point B. And then what I want to do from here is I want to draw in three congruent segments, but I have to draw them long enough that it goes past point B. So if I'm extending it all the way here to about 270, uh, you can see the number on this compass tool. I'm going to start at about 90 and start making my marks. So I make one here, and then I move the compass over to the mark I just made, and I make my second one, and I'm going to make one more. Because once again, if I'm cutting AB into three equal pieces, then I need to make three of these marks. And what I want to do from here is I'm going to set the compass on point A, and I'm going to measure the length of this entire segment. So all three of them together like this. And now just to make sure that I set it to a good amount, you see that drawing goes right over itself. So I know that's a good uh, distance to set it to. So now I'm going to move the compass over from A to right in the middle of point B, and I'm going to swing an arc. And what I'm essentially doing is I'm going to be building a line segment equal in length to this purple one, and I need it to go from B, and it's going to go through this arc that I just made. But just to make sure that I'm drawing it in the accurate spot, the next thing I need to measure here is I need to measure the distance from B to this last point over here on the purple line segment. So extend it over here like this, maybe go out a little bit further, and we'll see this one here lines up pretty well with the purple line. So now that distance I'm going to keep, and I'm going to move it over to point A. And from here, what we want to do is we want to place the compass on A, and we're going to swing an arc like this, and notice that this arc intersects the one we just made before. So now I'm going to draw in my line, and I'm coming in from point B, and I'm going to draw it so that it intersects the intersection of those two arcs. Now, one of the last steps I need with the compass here is I have to go back to the original purple line segment here, and I need to measure that initial amount. So notice the segment here, all three of them were equal in length. So I could just measure it to be set to one of them. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw this in to show that I'm measuring it. And I'm setting the compass on point B, and now I'm going to make the same three marks like this. So I have one. The second one is over here. And then if we look here, the third one should line up nice with what we just drew. And you can see it lines up pretty well with the last one we just drew. So then the last step here to this construction is I'm just going to connect this point to this point here. And then I'm going to connect this point here with this one. So notice I got one, two, three, four points to connect. And essentially what we did was just construct a parallelogram. But the parallelogram, the opposite sides were cut at specific locations so these three segments were congruent. So when we draw in these lines here, we could see on this diagram that each of these segments are equal in length. So if we look here, let's say I call this point P and this is point Q, then what I'm allowed to say here is that AP is congruent to PQ and this is congruent to segment QB. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on partitioning a line segment. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.